All right, my friends, how are you today? Aaron here bringing you a daily horoscope, some honest astrology for the 13th, Friday the 13th of March 2020. All right, we've got some interesting times going on right now. We've got the moon in the sign of Scorpio, right? Which is about hidden agendas, things buried deep down beneath that are coming up to the surface, okay? We have interesting things happening worldwide we have um we have chiron squaring the nodes of the moon uh we have the sun starting to create uh later you know uh, a trine to the moon neptune creating a trine to the moon all right let me show you the chart here so this is set for noon all right and as you see here at 18 degrees, it's going to happen actually at 11. All right. An exact sextile over here to Mars, the moon sextile Mars at 18 degrees. Okay. Mars, planet of action in Capricorn, again, exalted, moving through. Um, you know, we're, 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 again, we're dealing with how do we deal, we're dealing with how do we deal with life, okay? How do we move forward right now? We're at a bit of a crux with Saturn at the 29th degree, the anoretic degree of Capricorn, so it's home in its last degree. There's a bit of indecisiveness on how to act. There's a lot of worldly and global government issues going on that deal with our personal health, right? Chiron here in Aries. Chiron squaring the nodes of the moon. You know, I don't want to go out and be a part of public for fear of a disease, of a virus. So it's easier for myself to stay safe in my comfortable place at home, north node in Cancer, okay? Which is being sesqui square over here, to the moon, the moon sesqui square to Chiron, Chiron squaring the node, right? This is really interesting times, especially with the coronavirus. I think I'm going to put out a whole coronavirus astrology video um, that, that shows how we're dealing with this on a global level. <clears throat> you know, I don't want to get too wrapped up in this in the daily. Um, I've already been talking about it a little bit here this week. I just want to hear focus on, you know, what's going on with the day beyond that. You know, but this is certainly energy that persists into this weekend, okay? And we're dealing with deep-rooted stuff, deep-rooted issues. Again, things are coming up from the surface. And you see here an easy flow of energy, these trines. The red lines are squares, okay? The red lines are tension, right? You see that? little triangle right there uh, of the red lines to the moon okay and we see this blue line easy flow of energy between Neptune home in Pisces Neptune does rule media you know Neptune also rules our dreams and imagination and, and all of these things um, so we can imagine the worst if we want to we can imagine the best if we want to right now we do have neptune creating a septile over here to venus which is a very positive and formidable aspect venus home in her sign neptune home in its sign um you know so this is dealing with my personal possessions my things money again traditions there, there there's an easy flow of, of of creative water and earth energy about manifestation okay so there's a way to harness some of this energy that's going on and utilize it, okay, to bring a, a sense of wealth or well-being into our lives right now, which is very positive. Now, this easy flow of energy between the moon and Neptune, <laughs> you know, that can certainly be dealing with, uh, you know, there it is at noon. It's, it's, it's about exact right there. Certainly, certainly dealing with this whole, do, you know, do we stay in this weekend? Do we go out this weekend for fear of what's going on? There's a deep, deep kind of, um, you know, concern 
underneath the surface that I don't want to get ill. I don't want to get sick. I want to, you know, do we not go out and, and spend time with the community? Do we not go out on a Friday night or a Saturday night, right? Because the moon's still going to be, um, well, the moon's going to move later on uh, in the day tomorrow, but in the morning time, it'll still be, uh, on Saturday morning, it'll still be in the sign of Scorpio. All right. So th there are positive signs, uh, positive aspects to the day. Okay, the sextiles between the moon and, and Capricorn. Okay, so first it's going to, at, at 11 o'clock through noon, it's going to connect with Mars. Okay, so we have to figure out a way to take a plan of action, right? So what is our plan of action to deal with some of these issues we're dealing with, deep rooted issues, right? And again, that, the, the moon creating that easy flow of energy between Neptune, it's like it's adding fuel to the fire. And this is emotional fuel. You know, we're dealing with the water signs. So there's emotional fuel here that's going on that's driven by what? An outside source, Neptune, Pisces. This is, you know, we're, we're internal, but yet we're gaining this from outside, from the public, from the media. And what's going on with our lives and how to conduct our lives. There lies the Capricorn aspects. How do we conduct our lives? Our planet of action, Mars, is in Capricorn. You know, well, we want to make sure we take each step safely to get up and down the mountain. However, we got to go about this. Right? Um, so, and, and again, with, with Saturn at the anorotic degree, at the 29th degree, there can be, I don't know how to act. I don't know what to do. Okay, this can be a time of confusion. How do we deal with things? You know, stay healthy. Do the normal things that you would do. You know, it's really interesting. Again, I work in the film industry. And without giving too much away, I'm on a, I'm on a documentary right now about, about basketball. And I was already given the forewarning that I will be filming on Friday night a, an empty basketball stadium. <laughs> okay, so there is, you know, the FAA says, no, we, we're not allowing, you know, any fans to come in to this game for fear, for fear, worry, concern the, of the unknown, of people getting ill. We don't want to spread and pass this. Again, I don't want to make this too much about this virus, but at the same time, this is so... Uh, um, present and aware in, in the community at a whole, at a large right now of how we are living our personal lives, that it's, it's very relevant, you know. So then later, we've got the moon creating a sextile over to Jupiter. That's going to happen, I believe, at four o'clock, four o'clock, right? Four to five, even at six o'clock, right? And there it picks up, uh, Pluto as well, okay? So Jupiter, our planet of expansion and saying more, 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 planet of faith, our planet of luck, okay? And the practical sign of Capricorn, you know, manifestation. How are we, you know, how are we manifesting what we want, what we need, emotional needs into our lives, right? How are we allowing this energy to truly uh, allow us to open up to create change, death, destruction, transformation, transcendence right now with Pluto, right? So this is a positive side of, uh, you know, we're, we're almost hitting spring here. We're, we're very close to spring. We're very close to ending, uh, uh, ending the, the winter season, okay, where things die. Okay, that's why, you know, Pluto rules Scorpio. So there is a huge amount of transformation, transformational energy, and a need to recognize this. Okay, and that 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 is uh, exact here at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right? And all the same, Mercury is still in the cocoon, still at 28 degrees until Saturday, right? Let me see. Yeah. Well, again, that's uh, Eastern Standard Time. So my friends out on the West Coast or uh, out there in, in Hawaii, uh, this will be later in the evening for you on Friday night. Mercury finally hits that 29th degree. Nonetheless, we're still dealing with this very internal aspects of self. 
you know, going within. How do we, how do we determine what, what, whatever is going on around us, right? How do we determine what's best for us internally? You know, we have to, we have to put the horse blinders on yet again and, and, and shroud out the outside perspectives and, and do what's best for us on an individual level right now. What is the best that we need to do to heal? What is the best that we need to do to move forward with work? What is the best we need to do with move forward with any sort of business? You know, do we, do we just all stop living? Which is certainly not an answer. It's not an option. Um, you know, the show must go on, you know, in one way or another. So with knowing that the show must go on, all this Capricorn energy, we have to move forward. How do we move forward? What are the appropriate steps that we take as an individual dealing with crisis, dealing with uh, media frenzy, dealing with whatever is going on, you know, in the masses as well as with our community and with our circle? You know, what's the best way for us to conduct ourselves? What is an emotional need right now to how we get to how to get to where we're going, right? The mountain is steep. There's no question about that. The mountain is steep and one wrong move and we can fall off. But that's not how the goat gets its reputation, right? That mountain goat gets its reputation by its careful and practical ability to climb up and down this mountain, right? So we will succeed. We will move forward. We will find a solution to our individual problems as well as our worldly issues that we're dealing with right now. And it's just one day at a time, one step at a time, one breath at a time dealing with this stuff, you know. And while many of us are going to be at work throughout, you know, the good chunk of the day here, and, and, and what, what do we do when it comes to, you know, our Friday night? You know, this energy might suggest staying in. You know, uh, there again, there is that balance of the crossroads here with Chiron squaring the nodes, you know, staying in, staying comfortable or, or getting out. You know, this is a, it's a personal decision that we all have to feel and figure out how we're going to deal with this ourselves. There is this grace of Neptune septile to Venus, okay, uh, which, which, however, we harness this energy throughout the day and in general, um, you know, can be some good fortune for us. Uh, the septile and sextile that's coming in here, right? So once the moon starts, to, you know, a little later in the evening, we start to septile the Jupiter, right? So it's, it's a very fate and destined time right now for our personal expansion and how we're choosing to go about our individual lives and to lead by example, right? To be the leaders that we are. So this is some interesting energy going on right now. Leave a comment, please, on, on how, how are you dealing with some of this stuff? How are you going about whatever? I, 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 always, I always enjoy the feedback or, or uh, the interactions going on here with my friends on this channel. So always appreciate it. You know, tomorrow's a new day. We got to deal with Friday first. And then Saturday, the moon's going to move into Sagittarius and stay there for the rest of the weekend, uh, which is, again, about faith and knowledge, you know. So maybe we're, we need to absorb some more knowledge, you know, to, to better handle ourselves. We need to start looking things up online uh, or, or reading a book <laughs> that's, that's going to bring us some insight. We'll talk about that more uh, come Saturday. Either way, have a happy Friday the 13th, my friends. Don't be too, you know, too alarmed, too frightened, too involved in this media frenzy that's going on right now. Not saying that this isn't a, in a real issue, but at the same time, you know, sun keeps rising, right? And so do we. So have a happy Friday the 13th, and we'll see you tomorrow.